Hi, Aditi. Um, congratulations, first of all. I, Thank you so much, ma'am. How does it feel? Um, well, it feels mostly like a relief because other exams haven't happened yet. And I'm more in a state where, like, okay, I have one uh, great option to go for. Uh, great? It's the best yes. option. <laughs> Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> it's definitely one of the best options. Everybody is craving for ISI, of course, right? So, yes. can you tell us about yourself? Uh, well, I my hometown is in Muradabad, Uttar Pradesh, and I have done my graduation from Chandigarh uh, in Punjab University. Uh, I did my graduation in economics only. My course was economics honors, and um, uh, I was a commerce student in class twelve. So since then only I had interest in economics and I wanted to pursue it as the majors. Okay. And, yeah. okay so uh, how did you prepare for, you know, this kind of an exam? Uh, well, the preparation has been almost same for uh, most of the exams. Like I have, uh, the syllabus is almost the same. You have to work on your basics mainly. And uh, yes, it requires more labor, more hard work for sure. But I think the key is that you have to be consistent. You can add more hours uh, while the paper is approaching. But since the beginning, if you are taking like a one year course that I took from EcoPoint. Okay. So if, if you are doing that kind of a course, then you have to be consistent throughout. You don't have to give like, like too many hours every single day. But whatever is being taught in the class, uh, you have to spare time out for that, for revision of that. And if you're consistent in that, then your basics will be crystal clear by the end of the course. So uh, by the end of the course, then uh, ways to revise is just a revision of sample papers because I felt that they were the most important and they helped me the most. Sample paper as in the tests and all that we give and uh, the past years, that's what you're talking about? Yes, both both the things so i would want to know actually uh see you had one year of preparation and this is your final this was your final year in your uh, university as well yes yes so how are the two approaches as in your university paper along with the entrance preparation so it's quite a lot and i know that you're a good performer in your university at your university level also uh, but yes, you are as time and again, at times I tell you that, you know, you're coming from uh, maybe Punjab University. So do you see that there is more gap? I always used to chat with you ar around that area. <laughs> I don't know how you are coping up with your basics. Uh, if if uh, Did you work through the basic lectures as well that we gave you since you had just one year period to work with? Uh, see, um, see, when you, you talk about maths, I have or taken my maths in class 11th and 12th also. Actually, that is a compulsion to get admission in any of... Uh, I always tell, I want to tell to, you know, all the aspirants and all the students actually, you know, who are still, you know, in 11th, 12th, how important is mathematics actually yes. to be taken in yes. your uh, plus two level? Because yes. it, 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 it creates so many opportunities for you. A lot of doors are open and your analytical approach towards any paper, be it, see, yeah. economics is definitely a subject for which you, I don't understand the meaning of commerce without maths, honestly speaking, because in yes. commerce or say you have economics, you know, when you branch out in economics, it's all about maths. It's like a branch of maths when you're doing yes. hardcore economics, right? Yeah. so um anyway chase so coming back to uh, your thing um yeah, so actually actually you are right there because um when i was doing my course in punjab university which i want to mention out the people who do not belong to du and you know uh, the courses which are very mathematically centered in other universities they do not give that much attention to economics sorry to maths and mm -hmm. honestly i want to tell you that um before joining Ego Point, I did not know that economics was so much maths. For me, it was story. For me, it was like, uh, you know, in our first semesters and in our first, second years, we were doing, in fact, we were learning things by story. Or you can call that rectification, but it will be a little sure. derogatory. But, but not, that is not what I'm saying, actually, ki, uh, the university yeah. exam approach and entrance exam approach. Uh, yeah. So how did you yeah, manage both the things? <laughs> in university exam it was mainly centered at, as the remembering part but yes. in entrance you have to work on your logics uh, because the questions that are going to come most of them you won't have seen them before so only your basics are going to help you there um, but in universities uh, things are more predictable 
you know the the pattern of papers the and papers, you know the pattern would yeah, be almost the same exactly. them specifically specifically in the last semester in the third year it was all theory my subjects were history of economic thought completely historical subject pure theory and other was indian economy again theoretical you have to learn the years you have to learn the policies of government and first year plan five year plans and but what even even that is time consuming so i would like to you know uh, talk about that uh, how were you managing your time doing both the things simultaneously within one year period of span you know see i i'll be honest with that that most of the time was going only in the entrance preparation i can't talk about that because i i honestly thought that even if my percentage uh, falls over there it is not a big issue because uh, they only need a limited Like a minimum mark of percentage. So in some situations, it is fifty five percent. In some institutes, it is sixty percent, not more than yeah. that. So if you are able to maintain that much, you will any day get admission there. So percentage of uh, university was not that much uh, important for me. But so I would like to tell students who are watching this, it's not that everyone has to follow that. You must work for your third year also. Just manage your time yeah. well. <laughs> like like in my case, I I was very liberal with that. I was like, okay, okay. let's focus. On entrances and i used to study I'm, i'm really sorry but i used to study like two days before the university papers i i just <laughs> but you're a high scorer there <laughs> you you have a good score there <laughs> see uh, i think the major problem that i found in the beginning was that uh, in my session it was a covid period completely so mm-hmm. i had to attend online eco point classes and online classes of my university also so that was a bit exhausting because you have to sit on the screen all the time and manage that so obviously working hours increased in those periods but yeah if you if you can stretch your day if you are not a very leisure loving person then you can manage both now right. that you're talking about classes i want to actually ask you here uh, so uh, uh, are you the kind of person who was attending all our live classes yes every single day every single day so did that help you in creating that discipline in your life you know you know initially i also mentioned that consistency is the main point because if you are sitting there for like one and a half hour or whatever the duration is for the class see um it will set a set a, you know you you will remind yourself from the very morning that at this point i have to sit and you this will adjust it. yeah you will adjust your time table according to that so yes it does induce a self discipline kind of a thing that you have to sit for it no matter what and uh-huh. once you are done with the class it it will somewhere push you ki okay let's just get back to my registers let's just get back to what i studied yesterday because today's material is going to be related to that so right. that 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 happens that again now it brings me to another question that i really uh, you know i like to ask uh, my students uh, we keep on telling you you must create your notes you must create your notes <laughs> but i want you to tell uh, and i want to ask you so you created your notes properly uh, how many yeah, yeah. see um well i am a very systematic writer if you look at my okay. it's just they are very like neatly done so okay. i would say my number would be okay if we include econometrics i think i have five registers for that the thick ones yes. yeah those five registers and they are very even i have also mentioned the dates that this is lecture 1 of date 1 this is the lecture 2 like i have like i used to call them my bibles that i have to refer to them again and again so uh, those notes actually those are the everything that you have to re- refer because also past year questions are included in that hmm. so so it's like a complete you also know the theory from that you also know the mathematical part so they completely cover so, everything uh, so basically uh, and acha i also want to ask you that thing so what, did you refer to certain books as well um well it has a sad story mentioning that one book for every subject you must refer to no uh, i'm really sorry i'm really sorry actually i did uh, like as um, nishan sir has told us to refer to various books and right. and and stuff i did refer but you know uh, the first paper that we gave was of iit if that is the first paper that you give the first entrance because it happens in february right see when okay. i gave that paper i realized that um, you should read books for your knowledge enhancement but if it is a time trade off na then don't read them okay, okay. then refer to your registers because registers will anyway cover that and the, we try to cover everything yes of course yeah, when we yeah. are also reading 10 books uh, then we try to cover as much as possible yeah, but, but i tell you to 
all students you must actually read books it's it's very important as yeah. as, as you said it's very important for your knowledge enhancement but yeah. i understand uh, you have to optimize on your time definitely yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, like, um, if you if you are really interested in subject i believe all of them are just as they are pursuing their majors in that then mm -hmm. they should have the curiosity to reach out to as many books as possible but uh, eventually uh, do not you know substitute it for sample papers and registers do not substitute it you can read it in your in your extra time that's so um, so so uh, you create notes that's number one uh, yeah. how many revisions you must have uh, gone through <laughs> of those notes perhaps you know i'm still revising them <laughs> okay that's a nice thing <laughs> that's a nice thing <laughs> i don't know what number i have reached like till now but since we are isi focused i think before isi paper i must have revised them twice at yeah, least or thrice I, i think you know micro we start uh, with that subject earlier so there have been more revisions of micro okay, because okay, we okay. start with that earlier micro and mathematics i think right. i could not revise uh, stats and macro much like okay. i did revise them once at least yeah So, 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 are you the kind of person who, uh, you know, if you've had your class today, so you would be revising it by tonight or tomorrow, you know, once more, you would be just going through the uh, notes once, or within that week, you would try to just scroll through. Yes. Are you that kind of person? Yes, yes, because that will reduce your hard work eventually. Because if you keep on filing them up, you know, yeah, if that's you, what I also you, try. Yeah, like it is a different story that if you are taking a one year course, of course, there will be. two three uh, times that you will miss out on you might have a wedding or anything that's that's fine you can manage with that but eventually if you you know if you keep the register away after the class and do not look back in then it will become a burden by the end of the course and it will become very hard because it is not a university exam where you can do two days before uh, you have to start uh, building up those uh, you know basics from the very start so uh, did you work anything extra on your basics apart from uh, what of course you were gaining from the classes see um, i would say that apart from basics of course you have to try on the hard questions because they're also going to be the part of the paper so first thing is oh, go back to the previous years mm -hmm. i i did them like um, meticulously in the last month i was only doing the previous years and some tests that you get Right, right, right. Yes. So, uh, so I'm sure you must have revised your previous years, actually. Yes, yes. yes. So you must have revised your previous years again and again. So yeah, because most of the questions are in the lectures only. Mm hmm. So yes, some of the questions got revised again and. Right, 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 right. Anything that you would want to tell any you know uh, aspirant who's probably coming from some other university or you know your kind of background or otherwise also anyone who is aspiring for economics, if you would like to say something. See, one thing is that do not uh, fix your image in your mind that you come from a certain university, you come from a certain town. Absolutely, yes. Or apart from that, also do not fix that because you are a due, you will be able to clear that. That also does not happen. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely, yes. So do not fix your own image in that. You need to constantly grow with that. You know, no matter where you stand, just just work on yourself. You will never be able to get that perfection. Even if you clear the ISI paper, we are not we are not perfect individuals sitting here. So <laughs> it's. Yeah, it is that uh, clearing a paper is a great thing, but it increases your learning curve. Uh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Where, wherever you stand today, just just start. Starting is a point, and then you know there are people who give this motivational stuff, and I I don't think that you know you really need that because when you start working, you know your work will guide you, like how you have to go about it. Nobody can else uh, tell you what is the right path. So if you have will enough for that, just just get started. and follow the guidelines is the key consistency i'm sure that's what you're trying yeah. to say consistency is the key definitely so how many number of hours were you studying every day so there are no number of hours <laughs> some some days i I'll, i'll be really honest some days it was two hours some days like in the very initial uh, like when you used to only revise the classes and do nothing but mm -hmm. then i add up that okay you should refer the other books as well then you add the number of hours 
some days you you have you have you are a human you are bound to have bad days that's okay but you know by the end of it i think i think i got really serious about it by the end of november like you shouldn't follow that like those who are watching be serious from the start i was serious from the start but my number of hours really increased from that time okay. and then i was and then i think i was very consistent and i have also spent complete days like i don't know what the number of hours uh, apart from sleeping and eating i used to study only <laughs> okay okay <laughs> but also there yeah. like yeah. i only used to take a break when i have to do, uh, take my breakfast or lunch otherwise i would sit at my table and study that's that's it that's a great thing to know that's a great thing to know it's quite motivational actually for anyone who is uh, who wants to prepare for this i'm sure so uh one question that i really wish to ask students this uh, anyone who is preparing for these kind of exams uh how voice is uh, getting a little like i can hear your last sentence i just said one last thing that i wish to ask you to you know any any uh, student who has been successful in these kind of any any of these kind of exams yeah. uh how many number of hours or minutes do you put on social media <laughs> what has been your strategy for social media because social media is so you know on us these days <laughs> it's a difficult task it's a, such a distraction so that's why probably you know me being a teacher i can say and nobody would believe it so i just want uh, to see the people who are watching this they will be really really disappointed to hear my answer but i didn't spend a single second not a single second like you have to get that much of uh, determination but i'm not saying that the people who are on social media will be able to will not be able to crack it like if you know how to balance it's it's fine but in my case now uh, what should i say like my mind is that if i use 15 15 minutes only then those 15 minutes will you know somehow if i read something if i watch something it goes in my mind for hours this is my personal problem <laughs> it might happen with others like they just read some meme and then forget it but in my case if i and especially in the covid times there were many disturbing news coming on so from then only i just i just eliminated all and deleted all the apps mainly instagram which mm-hmm. people are most active on because you know those if somebody has died i will cry at home so th- those things used to happen with me and i was very emotionally unstable with that and uh, i i eventually figured out like it was hard in the beginning and it is not something that i did for only entrance but uh, otherwise also yeah even today no, i don't have instagram in my phone no i don't have it because this is i i think this is a lifestyle this is your personal choice i yes. don't want to get uh, involved into that <laughs> sure i'm yeah, sure yeah, this, is, this is my personal choice um, yes. but if you can manage then spare very less amount of time mm mm-hmm. uh, Sure, but sure. otherwise it runs as a back story in your head ki acha okay aaj is serial mein ye hua wo hua then even when you are studying even when you are solving a question it runs as a back story in your head so i wanted to eliminate that correct correct correct, correct. thank you so very much you know for giving this time thank you so much thank you ma'am for all your guidances thank, thank you, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you so very much